Q&A time. 5.30. Good girl, 30. I don't even think I've ever showed you guys my craft room yet, but it's really cool. This is so weird. This was like normal class. But then we get to that. Hey, guys. It's JD Payroll. Welcome back to another Epi. Bon appetit! I thought I'd start a new vlog and we kind of go along and I show you all the new additions to the house, some new things we're doing to it, um, because there's always updates here. But first of all, today we have a ceramic coating guy coming and doing that to my shower. Our whole shower is glass, so it's basically just gonna make it a lot better to clean. Like the, the water apparently just like beads off. Oh. I'm excited about that. What? Our whole shower? My whole shower? I know, someone commented. Did you see that comment? Uh -huh. Someone commented like, oh my god, she said our, our something. Does that mean they're officially moved in? Waiting for the proposal. And I'm like, no. I just say <laughs> our on accident a lot. Our sounds better than like my. I don't know. It just yeah, sounds it like. It definitely does. If you guys couldn't already tell because you can see her and she's so cute. Shorty now sits with me for every single meal. She'll sit in these chairs with me. And she loves it. She's a real human. She, you know, wants food. But she'll literally just sit there so politely and just be like, there, now I'm digging to you. My markers come today. I could not be more excited. What markers? <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> The markers that have gone through hell and back from me trying to get them. Yeah, I know like the whole lore behind them. Isn't that like the right word? I love how you just use lore. There is like lots of lore to these markers though. If I yeah. only told you guys the whole story, basically just be happy for me that they're finally here. You're gonna leave me here alone with a man. I figured you'd be fine. I know, I was kidding. <laughs> okay. Don't! They're mine! I had a hard workout this morning. I deserve all these eggs. Oh. It's not really coming out. Jordy, no! Not in mine. Thumbnail. Sit. Good girl. Let's start with my backyard because I'm currently the most obsessed with it. If you guys watched my latest video, no, two videos ago, I did my whole backyard transformation and now we are just slowly adding to it, making it better and more full. I'm trying to block all of my pool equipment with these fake vines. We got them at Home Depot, but we didn't realize we're gonna need many more to actually cover it all. I've been getting some plants. My dad planted them for me. This one looks very sad. The grand reveal, I just got this. Beautiful hammock on Facebook Marketplace. I saw it and I was like, wait, I instantly need this. I have so much like ample room in my backyard. It'll be perfect. My friends helped me put it together two days ago and I've already spent like four hours on this hammock. So I would say it's pretty well spent. Right, Dirty? Good girl, Dirty. I got this beautiful thing for $100 on Facebook Marketplace. Originally, like brand new, I feel like this would easily, easily be $400. I just feel like I'm so happy with it and it's beautiful, it's perfect. This is my view from the backyard. It's just coming together, folks. One more update for out here is that we got a towel bar. In here, I put my towels. I just got them from Amazon. And then I also have a little sunscreen bucket some gardening stuff in here, and my leftover pots so I can fill eventually. I got this unit from Ikea, and I think it looks just perfect out here. Good storage. Our little makeshift hangout area until I get a dining table out here. But yeah, now let's go see some updates on the shower. Okay, exciting stuff. We have Danny with Armor House. Uh, what I'm doing is ceramic coating the glass. Uh, ceramic coating is a, a coating that goes over the glass. It's very fine, and it creates a barrier between the glass and contaminants. It's uh, hydrophobic, it lasts for years, and it'll make the glass just water will bead right off of it. And then when it's time to clean it, it'll take just seconds to clean it. And it's, Love it, that's what I like about it. it. Woo! Show him what you did. He yeah. fixed the paint I painted, job. I just painted them. That's all I did. It was all messed up. Well, I fixed them, yeah. They came a wooden color and I really wanted them white, so he painted them all for me, and now he's gonna hang it up. Oh, I'm hanging it up too? Yes. 
Basically, it's gonna go right here and it's a wrapping paper holder. I can put all my beautiful wrapping papers in it. This looks so good, you guys. I am in love. So I did get that on Etsy and then my dad just spray painted it white, but I am so happy with it. I don't even think I've ever showed you guys my craft room yet, but it's basically done. Right when you walk in, you see all of this. This little thing was my old TV stand and it is now filled with a bunch of art supplies. I have scrapbooking stuff right here and then my crystals. I actually DIY these little chunky pencils. I'm probably gonna hang these up too, so ignore that. Then I have my whole nail polish station with my desk. I love it. This is the light I use from Amazon. It's so nice to see like all the little details. Um, and then yeah, over here I have like all of my scrapbooking and drawing stuff. I'm gonna fill this with markers. And then my new rack. Also need to get a door on this, but it has all my boots and dresses in here. The craft room is looking beautiful. I do wanna make a sign that goes like right here that says like, Maya's craft room or something that's super cute and like vintage font or something. I don't know. I want to make it though because get it? It's craft room and I made it. Oh my gosh, you guys. The brand is Oahu and I feel like you guys have seen them on TikTok but they've gone like pretty viral and they're a very like expensive, good quality marker brand and I've always been a drawer. I've been obsessed with collecting things and markers have been one thing that I've been weirdly obsessed with collecting. I have so many collections of them, so I needed, needed these and to try them out. <laughs> you guys, look, it comes with this freaking huge tote. They're so beautiful. What the fuck? Isn't that crazy? Do they smell good? Do you want to draw? They're not like a scratch Mr. Sniff, you freak. Oh. I what the were, fuck? I thought they were the smelly ones. That's why you're so Oh happy. my gosh. You just ordered a bunch of non-smelly markers? No markers are smelly. They feel so good. This, you guys, is the ultimate duo. Oahu markers and Coco Wu, like little corner coloring books. They're so cute. Yes, I'm gonna go outside and color. Okay, right. this is so weird. He's ceramic coated one side of it. And you can literally feel the difference because when I'm going like this, it just feels like normal glass. But then once you get to that, it's so like slippery and just like, it's so weird. Yeah, I was see. not expecting it to your, be like that different. Like your hand speeds up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Are little teeny particles of silica, which are like glass. Right? Oh. So what happens is you put it on and the liquid evaporates and then those little particles of silica adhere bond to the glass okay he just finished and it's so good i'm so excited to shower and i have to wait 24 hours for it to completely seal but i'm so glad we got that because glass cleaning it every single time after a shower is pretty annoying but he also was mentioning that he does doors windows um like marble backsplash behind stove like anything you want to be easier to clean on you <laughs> He can do and it's super cool so if you guys are in the arizona area the valley use armor house if you mention my code you guys can get 25 percent off which is such a good deal in the long run protect your home check them out and yeah let them know i sent you get um ready with me i was just coloring and I took a nap on my couch first time doing that it was so amazing i'm glad i woke up and i'm going to take my makeup off it's currently 10.30 and then I'm really craving olives, so I'm gonna make myself olives and buy something else. And then I'm gonna watch a movie or something because it's so cute and spooky vibes in my living room. Like I have to like take advantage of this as much as I can. I'll show you guys what I've been doing at night for like skincare wise because it's so random, but it's been working for me so well. Using the trusty micellar water, which I'm almost out. I'm using the remnants of, I need to get another bottle. I really go ham with this, making sure to get every ounce of makeup. Okay, we're all scrubbed down and clean. This is literally my last step. I take the Lavender Hill Farm Lavender Hydrosol, which is a basically hand sanitizer for your face. It cleanses it and also just kills all the bacteria. This is a super natural one from a farm in Michigan, but I have like a lot of other different bottles from different brands. So many brands sell a Hydrosol spray. I just douse my skin in this. 
and that's literally it. I only do skincare in the morning now and I wash my face in the morning sometimes and then I put like my lotion, cleanser, serum, all of that. I have noticed it literally, my skin loves it. I don't know, I, I just have been in the best skin recently and I think it's that. I think it's simpler, the better, clean. Maybe yours will too. <laughs> Thought I would share because I feel like it's a very uncommon skincare routine. Normally like people are like doing a million products, but seriously, I've learned simpler the better. Q&A time. I thought I'd do a little Q&A segment to kind of wrap up this whole house renovation series. I posted on Instagram and I screenshotted a bunch of questions for you guys that you guys are wondering about the house. Let's hop into it. Where is most of your furniture from? Love watching your videos. Thank you. And also going along, top home decor brands. Thing that comes to my brain right away is Facebook Marketplace. I got so many steals on Facebook Marketplace that you wouldn't even believe. If you're just on there scouring every single day, I'm sure you're gonna find something for a steal and always negotiate with them because most of the time they always are gonna like go down on the price. But for in terms of like new things, I found a lot of good pieces on Lulu in Georgia. They're a little bit more like high end, I guess I would say, but one really cool thing is they bring your furniture pieces fully into your house and unbox them. It's called like white glove delivery and it comes with like all of their orders. So that was like super nice because I didn't have to build anything and I didn't have to move anything. A brand that, that I don't hear a lot of people talk about is Nathan James. I got my bar stools from them. Honestly, super cute. They have a lot of good neutral pieces. For decor, you guys know I love a good home goods. I go there all the time. I also go to at home a lot for like decorations. Everyone is wondering about my couch back here, the one that's like looks fluffy. I got it from a brand called Coleman Furniture. But I know they have this like specific type of couch at other places. Like I know Ashley Furniture has it too, but I found on Coleman it was cheaper. And then lastly, I think another big one would be Wayfair. I got a lot of good pieces on Wayfair that looked very high end. Like I would find something on a high end brand and then I'd search for it on Wayfair and I'd find like the exact same thing for half the price. I did a lot of comparing and contrasting for stuff. Are you planning on buying slash renovating any other houses in the future? Plus, I love your vids. Thank you. It's actually funny because I never thought this would be something I would like enjoy this much, but genuinely I have loved this whole process. I think I thrive in this environment of choosing and decorating and styling a house and kind of just making it more like modernized, but not even modernized because I still kept in a lot of cool arches and kept the charm of the old house. Cause I saw another one that said, would you ever think of renovating slash flipping houses for a hobby? And I do think it would be really fun, but I'm still like paying off this house by a lot. And so I don't think I'll be able to buy a house anytime soon. <laughs> if I get those views up, baby, maybe. <laughs> I would love to buy another house and maybe put it up for like Airbnb or even have it as like long-term rentals or I don't know something but I do think I can turn a house into something stunning because this house looked completely different before and now it looks like it should be on the fucking magazine. Going along with that question, did you hire an architect or interior designer or did you do it all by yourself? I did literally everything completely by myself. I also got a lot of questions of like, how did you find the inspo and how did you like know what to do for your style? That I don't know how to explain to you, but it literally just came to me. Like I would see something and I would be like, oh, I think this needs to happen. And my mom also has very good like taste with that. So I'd kind of like bounce ideas off her and she'd be like, yes, 100%. Or she'd be like, mm, or what about this? Other than that, like everything came to me just naturally. I did use Pinterest for sure. Like there are some things that Pinterest totally gave me all the ideas for. Like my kitchen, my custom kitchen, I have a lot of like random little things. Like I have a broom closet on the side of my fridge. I got that idea from Pinterest. I have a cutting board on top of my trash can. Got that idea from Pinterest. So there's things like that, um, that I totally got inspo from Pinterest. But the most asked question that I got was, how much did it cost? How did you save for this house? all of those juicy questions. And I don't wanna say exactly how much I paid, but I will say the renovation did definitely go over 100K. <laughs> I budgeted myself a number and then doubled it. I'm not that good at getting a budget. Okay, I'll say that. So yeah, I'm still definitely paying off things for my house, but that comes with house renovations. I feel like 
everything always costs more and takes longer. So you kind of have to just know that when you're doing a house renovation. I don't expect it to be double, but I also have expensive taste. Like there are some things I definitely could have got cheaper, but it was something where I'm like, I really want that for like a long-term investment. And I think it'll just elevate the house. And I'm so glad I did. And like when people say, how long did it take for you to save for a house? Um, I was saving since the day I started YouTube. My mom always had me put away a chunk of money every single paycheck I got. So, I mean, the past six years I've been doing YouTube and like fully getting like paid for a full-time job, I've been putting it away. So I just always had a huge savings that I was waiting to buy a house for. So that's why I was able to buy this house now. So I'm very thankful for that. I've been saving for a very, 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 very long time. <laughs> and then going along with the question, is there anything you wish you would have done differently? Literally, no. Like. I'm not kidding, every single thing. I'm just so happy with how it turned out and I'm glad the places that I decided to spend more money, I'm so glad I spent more money there because I think it was so worth it. I mean, if I could think of the tiniest little things that I'm like, oh, that kind of sucks. One thing that comes to my brain is my sinks and my bathrooms, they collect a lot of like toothpaste and like spit and stuff that you like, do, like I don't know, when you're like brushing your teeth. Um, just like the material that it is. But then when I think about it, like if I wanted to get a different sink, I don't think I would have gotten a different sink because I'm obsessed with how they look. So I'm like, I don't even think I do regret that. It's just little things like that that I didn't really realize. But it's kind of still worth it to me because I would still want the same sink. You guys have a lot of questions about my boyfriend. Did JD have any say in anything? No. <laughs> Does JD pay rent? And also no, I just think that was another huge part of like my like stubbornness i just wanted to say like i paid for this entire house like myself he does help on other ways like groceries and stuff like that so that's good but yeah what made you choose that house to renovate when i walked in to tour this i just got the best feeling and i got so inspired when i walked in this house i was like i know exactly what i want to do here like i just had the best feeling that was just the best way to put it so yeah, I think you know when you know. What is the best part to live in a house? There's a lot of things, but I think my backyard. I spend so much time outside like every morning. Recently, I've been just like reading in my hammock, drinking my greens, or just even going on my phone in my hammock. I like sit on my loungers and eat lunch. I always spend time outside. Shorty loves it outside. And then other like random things that are just so nice to be in a house versus an apartment is like when you're coming home, you can pull in your garage and then walk four steps inside your house. But like versus when I always lived in an apartment, I have to walk literally so far to get to my damn apartment. And then it's in a parking garage. It's not even fully covered. So it's like so hot or like so cold in the car. I don't know. There's like little things like that. That is so nice. Getting packages delivered to my door instead of having to go all the way down to the front office. There's so many things. What is something that you had to do that you never considered you would need, at least since 2019? Oh yeah, OG baby. Scorpion protection. Oh my God. Scorpions are a thing in Arizona and I have spent a lot of money doing every single thing to get those little motherfuckers out of here. And it costs money, a lot of it. See, it's things like this that you don't account when you're buying the house, but then you have to get, unless you want little creepy crawlers in your shoes. But I haven't seen one since, so there we go. Is there a project that you didn't get to finish or get to? Yes, and this is something I still plan on doing. Definitely a long time though, because gotta get that money up, get that bag up, you know? Watch the ads, comment, share with your friends. There's a corner over here that I really wanted to put a stucco Hispanic inspired fireplace in the corner with like two benches coming out. I'll put some inspo pictures so you get the vibe, but I really want to do that and then, you know, fill the whole inside with like candle lights. I don't even need it, the fireplace to work, but you have to get a very like special guy for that and it's just a lot of money, honestly. I think that will elevate the house. I think it'll bring charm. I think it'll be adorable and I cannot wait to do that, but that's something that is getting put on the back burner for now. What is your favorite room slash piece of decor that you've purchased so far? I think it has to be my circle bed, you guys. I, whenever I look in my bedroom, I'm like, that was like a princess bed. I'm so obsessed. I love that I decided to do a pink color. I love my curtains behind it because it totally gives princess vibes. When I'm sleeping in my bed, I'm so happy because I'm like, I'm on a circle right now. It's just so cozy. 
I couldn't be happier with it. Okay, I think those are all of the ones that I feel like searching for. The rest, I mean, I think I got them all. Um, make sure to like and comment so we can get those views up so I can get my little fireplace. <laughs> And I love you guys, and I will see you guys next week. I'm going to do a huge Halloween vlog, so get excited.